Hey Spirit Bladers, this is Katja from the Netherlands, Comic Kate on the forums. Today I'd like to talk to you about Valiant's new Archer and Armstrong comic. It's been only about two years since I started reading comics, and since it was actually the Green Lantern movie that really got me started, I've primarily been a DC Comics girl, with a whiff of Marvel thrown into the mix to add some variety. But lately, with all the relaunches and soft reboots that have been going on at both DC Comics and Marvel, my usual batch of comics have been lacking some important traits that had kept me interested up until that point. Long story short, I ditched a number, but not all, of my usual titles and started looking elsewhere. Since I'd been hearing a lot of enthusiastic reports and reviews about the new Valiant, a comics publisher that relaunched as recently as May 2012 under the name Valiant Entertainment, I decided to try some of their titles. Starting with Archer and Armstrong. Now, I knew literally nothing about those two characters when I opened issue number one. For instance, I didn't know that there used to be a previous Valiant universe, by the way, by Valiant Comics 1989-2004, in which an original Archer and Armstrong duo had their adventures. Nor did I know any of the creative team, which I think is somewhat excusable given my fairly short history as a comics reader. Anyway, so this new comic introduced me to writer Fred Van Lanty and, for the first six issues at least, artist Clayton Henry. And as introductions go, this one was great. The story. Obadiah Archer, 18 years old, has been raised by his adoptive parents to be a well-trained fighter. Now, his adoptive parents, by the way, also turn out to be leaders of an ancient sect, and they send him to what he's been taught to be a modern-day Babylon, also known as New York City, to hunt down and kill what he believes to be a demon. He soon finds, however, that this great Satan is actually Armstrong, a fun-loving, hard-drinking immortal. Together they discover a centuries-old worldwide conspiracy involving not only Archer's family sect, but also several other branches of what turns out to be one large ancient cult. Of course, the future of the entire modern-day Valiant universe depends on their actions and decisions to survive the past's greatest threat. Likes. First of all, what a great sense of adventure, humor and excitement is hidden in this gem of a comic. I've caught myself laughing out loud several times, which for a comic is a great feat. Second, the summaries at the beginning of each issue are great. It's not just the fact that there are summaries, contrary to DC Comics, whose refusal to add plot summaries I find greatly annoying, but they are a must-read just for the way they are written. Even though a large part of the summarized stories is the same every week, Van Lanty finds a way to summarize them uniquely with every issue. Plus, some of them are even humorous. Furthermore, writer Van Lanty has done a great job of incorporating just enough chunks of actual conspiracy theories and religious sectarian beliefs to grab my attention even more. For instance, I've done some reading on Dominionism a belief that many Christians consider to be heretical, and I recognized elements of that belief system in Archer's family sex doctrines. Add to that hints of modern-day theories of the Illuminati and the New World Order, and you get the idea. A job well done by Van Lanty, in my opinion, for he's kept it comic-y nonetheless by also adding his own fantasy and ideas into the mix. Suffice it to say, I ate that thing up. Also, although there are definitely undertones of ridiculing the sect's beliefs, Archer himself is portrayed as very serious and committed to what he thinks the Bible teaches. And as a Christian reader, I can go along with that. For although I suspect Van Lanty doesn't necessarily agree with the Christian worldview, and may even view some of it as far-fetched as the sect's dogmas, Archer himself, at least, does not know that his beliefs are not biblical at all. Seeing him trying his best to be as good as he believes a person should be, therefore immediately wins him the reader's sympathy. So well done, Van Lanty. Another plus is the fact that although this is not a superhero comic as such, it sort of is anyway. 
For along the way, Archer learns he has the special ability of perception, which in his case means he only has to see a certain skill practiced once to be able to master it himself. And by skill, you can think, for instance, different fighting skills, to name the first thing that comes to mind. Now that is a skill or a special ability that comes in handy in many a dire situation. And then, of course, there's Armstrong, not only big and strong, but also a 10,000 years old immortal. So yeah, pretty super heroical. Last but not least, great writing overall with lots of action advancing the plot. Also, the plot has themes of friendship, loyalty, love and of course the great question, what is good and what is evil and how can we tell them apart? In short, I just can't get enough of this comic and can't wait till the next issue is out. Dislikes I've really got no big issues with this comic. There's one remark I would make that could only be qualified as neutral, by the way, definitely not as a negative. This pertains to the artwork. On the one hand, the artists of this series do a great job of overall visual storytelling and they also convey facial expressions very well. However, on the other hand, it lacks a certain wow factor for me. It's good, but not stunning, hence the neutral. So, should you buy, borrow or skip this comic? Well, I give this comic a quality score of 9 out of 10 and a relevant score of 9 out of 10 as well. So yeah, I say buy this baby, like instantly. So, these were my thoughts on Valiant's Archer and Armstrong comic. I hope you got some inspiration from it. Uh, maybe some of you have also skipped some of the DC Comics and Marvel Comics and this may be a nice alternative for you, as it is for me. I'm hoping to hear from you all on the Spirit Blade forums and on my blog comicsandgadgets.wordpress.com with blog extras like illustrations, links, featurettes and whatnot. Background music was Call to Adventure by Kevin MacLeod www.incompetech.com This is Katja signing off, thanks for listening and tot de volgende keer!